What's up guys? I just finished that video that you're about to watch. Please watch it in depth all the way through where you can actually hear the real numbers and the things that I talk about as far as relating to the title of how you can be a millionaire in trucking. You need to watch through the entire video so you can really get the gist of what I'm saying and so you can hear those numbers. You don't want to miss a part of it. I'm sorry that the video went a little longer than I expected it to be, but it was a couple of pieces of information that I needed to get out for you guys. Please enjoy the video. I'll see y'all next time. What's up guys? Not your average youtuber back again to give y'all another banger on this channel man this hot shot channel is going crazy i cannot thank you guys enough for the traffic that has came through especially with you guys that have reached out to build your own trucking company here lately i think i've had about 42 clients come through and we've locked in a couple deals got a couple moving completed a couple and we just really greatly appreciate you guys business and we hope to get more of you if any of you guys have any interest in doing something like that building your own trucking company we do offer several different packages if you want to see those packages all you have to do is connect with us uh, through email or text you can comment in the youtube videos and we will drop our email or phone number to text um, or you can call and leave a voicemail if you'd like to do it that way too. Just leave your name and what you're inquiring about. So we have, you know, a good idea of what each person's coming through to us for, like what reason they're here for specifically. Now, moving off of that, that's not the purpose of today's video. Obviously you can see in the title today, I'm basically informing you guys the best way to get rich in trucking and the most successful business models, because a lot of people think that you got to have a lot of capital to get started in trucking. You got to have a lot of money to get started. It's just not the case. Almost anybody can do this it's a formula for almost anybody the model we're going to be talking about today is pretty much for anybody looking to get into trucking or looking to make a lot of money in general because it's actually pretty easy to do and like i said requires not much capital up front this is something that you can start with very little money that you could get out of your bank account if you have it saved up or a business loan personal loan collateral loan anything like that and if you guys choose to do yeah, go through us sorry then we take care of everything for you. It's a one-time fee, maybe just a tiny bit more than what it would take for you to get the entire process complete. But at the same time, of course, we make our profit off of doing that, of course. Um, but at the same time, we're taking care of everything. There's nothing you guys have to really do. It's very minimum effort. Everything's set up for you. And then we also provide coaching on managing that company and uh, growing that company as well. With that being said, we'll get started on what this model is, how it works, and why it doesn't require very much capital. So this is called the lease on business model. I'm sure a lot of you guys have already heard of it. There's probably a lot of y'all out here on YouTube trying to lease on two companies right now, trying to find someone to work for lease onto their authority and run loads. So that's basically what you would be doing in opening a lease on business model is you would be the authority that these guys are leasing on to. A lot of y'all in here from YouTube have been coming to me to lease onto my authority. Unfortunately, we filled up. Now, with that being said, we still take in everybody who comes through inquiring about leasing on because we build these companies for people and we build these reputable companies once they get built they need drivers on their authority as well and we do provide for a fee these drivers to whoever we built the company for so and we also provide some for free um in each package it's just a certain number per package anyway we'll get into that whenever we speak if you guys are interested in something like that or if you decide to just go on your own and build your own authority and figure out how to do it along the way then you know, you'll be good. And then you'll just be using this video for advice on how this works. However, you decide to go about obtaining your authority, whether it's through us or by yourself, you'll need the LLC, the MC number, the DOT numbers. And then that's not it. That's all you have to have to have an active authority, but you also have to get factoring. You have to get a factoring company, fuel cards. You need to get the best insurance rates that you can get in the country, which we also provide with our amazing insurance guys. Shout out to them. They're very awesome. Uh, but anyway, because if you if you get high insurance, then that can kill a business very quick. That's probably the number one thing I see as far as possible failures is going to be high insurance rates. Insurance will kill a company. You also have to get dispatching in place. You need to get direct contacts. You need to have a lot of connections to a lot of different loads. You don't need to be out here trying to bounce around on low boards 100% of your time because then you're just making you know, profit. You want to make maximum profit. You want to do whatever you can to make the max amount possible. The point of the business model is minimum cost, maximum profit. That's the point of the business model. That's what makes it so great. You have no overhead. You have no recurring cost. You're just making pure profit. Even though it's a smaller percentage, you're only getting 25% to 20% profit uh, with dispatching and all, then you know maybe even clearing 15 percent in some cases but regardless you're clearing that it's straight profit you have no recurring costs you're not having to worry about 
about any overhead, any capital or anything like that. And if you run your business correctly, which also, if you go with us, we provide that coaching and consulting on everything as far as running the company, managing the company, growth, all of that good stuff. We provide the coaching on to help you do it in the most successful manner. So you do not uh, run into any issues or come anywhere close to failure. That's the last thing we want, especially if we put a company together for you, because our name is on that company. Well, it's not on that company, but we're the ones who built it. So to uphold our reputation, we want to try to make it as successful as possible the entire way, because if it ever does fail, it is, you know, legally not our fault. It's in the paperwork that once this company is completely turned over to you in 90 days, it's up to you to keep it running. Um, how it's supposed to be ran but we're still to help here to help the entire time we're not just going to leave you hanging especially if you're not 100 percent comfortable after that 90 days which you should be uh, but if you do this on your own still it's not very hard to learn it's not very hard to manage it's not a lot that comes with it if you have a great dispatch team in place and you've got great drivers on your authority there's not much you have to take care of the goal is financial freedom you want to get this thing running for you even if you pay a little bit of staff along the way when you grow to a certain number of trucks then, you know, you want to be over in Hawaii somewhere sipping a Mai Tai or something like that, answering a phone call. That's how you want to have your, you know, that's how you want to have your life set up, financial freedom. And the same thing for me. I've never been in it for the money, just the freedom to be able to, you know, pretty much do as I please. I like to travel. I like to go places. I got a family. Uh, I got a kid now and I got twins on the way. So that's what I do it for. And I'm sure a lot of you guys want to do it for the same reason. So it, it's a great business model to run and it gives you plenty of your free time that you're looking for and you're also making plenty of money so you can be very financially stable. Let me tell you guys how much money this thing can make. If you were able to, let's say you get a fleet insurance policy. Nine times out of 10, it costs a lot to get that fleet insurance policy, but it is doable. We have done it uh, within a phone call. It is possible to get, people won't tell you that, people will tell you it's impossible without 250 grand, whatever. That's not the case. But even um, even if you're not able to get a fleet insurance policy, you're able to run up to 10 trucks on your authority without a in, uh, fleet insurance policy. 10 trucks on your authority is going to be a lot of money. That's going to be over 800 grand a year at least. Um, a minimum would probably be 800 grand a year. Seven, 800 grand a year would be a bare minimum at 10 trucks. That's still a lot of money and that's pure profit. That's what you clear. You got to think about it. You're not, nothing's coming out. You're not paying anything out. You are getting all of that in profit and you have nothing to ha to actually worry about. And if you have staff running your company for you, basically, or somebody else running your company for you for an equity portion, then everything you collect is solid profit. From that point, you can build, you can grow, and you should have enough money to buy a fleet insurance policy if, in your case, it has to be purchased for that much money. But if you're going to be looking at trying to do something like that, sorry, my low battery came up. If you're going to be looking to do something like that, then you might as well self-insure. You can self-insure with the government for around the same $250,000. And I think it's per so many trucks per 50 trucks or something like that. Um, but you can self-insure for 250 K and that's in an escrow. Your money's not going anywhere. As long as you have it sitting there, then you are self-insured through the government and you do not have an insurance premium. At that point, you can collect more money because you're still charging the same guys that are running under your authority, the 250 a week for insurance, the thousand a month for insurance. If you have 30 trucks on your insurance policy, then that's another $30,000 a month you will be bringing in because you have no insurance to premium to pay, but they still have to pay you for that insurance, you, if you see what I'm saying. So it's a very profitable business model for the short term and the long term, and it can make your life completely different, especially if you're up for the challenge. It is a challenge to get into trucking regardless. I must say it is challenging to get into the industry regardless, but when you have somebody like us behind you, backing you up and taking care of you, then you should do just fine. Um, and I'm sure you can find the expertise out there if you want to hire people to do this thing for you. It's not very hard. One thing I forgot to mention in the previous clip, if you think about it, guys, if y'all get big enough with a fleet insurance policy or self-insured, you can get up to 99 trucks. I know for a fact you can get up to 99 trucks on one fleet insurance policy. If you get 99 trucks, that's about $10.2 million cleared profit a year minimum. If you can get up to 99 trucks and you got a group of staff managing these 99 trucks for you, then you still don't have to do much. Like I said, the goal will be across the country, answering a phone call whenever problems arise, or if there's anything you need to solve yourself, then that's really all the work you have to do if you have staff taking care of this for you. Now, if you have everything being ran for you with 99 trucks on the road, you're netting $10.2 million a year at least. 
Think about those numbers, guys. Think about them. I think I've pretty much explained everything. I'm not going to go through and explain dispatching, explain factoring, and all the fuel cards. I'm not going to go through and explain all of that stuff because most of you probably already know or have an idea what that means. If not, if you're brand new to trucking, then I'll walk you through that as well if you're interested in our packages. We don't have time to just chat uh, with, with everybody simply because we have so much going on. We're building these companies for people. We're still in the process of doing three right now, uh, just finished two. And, and we keep getting more, so we have certain start dates for them. And once we get busy on them, we're doing a couple at a time. Uh, so we don't have a lot of free time. This is on top of running our own company. We do semis. Uh, we have a lease on authority where we do semis on a contract out of New York. And we we make no less than 10K every single week. It's a guaranteed 10K a week, 14 to 16K average. Uh, so it's a pretty good gig for semis. You can get things like that as well. You may can even get access to the same contract, especially if you have semis. We also do build companies for people that have their own equipment or want to do their own equipment, that business model. Uh, if they have that on lock and know how to make it you know, work and succeed, then of course we're going to do it. We j it's just our obligation to explain to you and try to coach you and give us give you our opinions on how you should run or what business models work. Well, I think I said enough. Hopefully you guys got a lot out of this video. You Anybody can do this. This is really something for anybody. Try to save up enough. I'll just give you a ballpark number. Try to save up around twenty to $25,000 and you're in there. That's all you need and you can successfully become a millionaire with the right help and the right coaching. And you guys got it right here. This is, like I said, not the average YouTuber when I started the video. That's because that's not what we do, man. We we speak to the public. We connect with the public. We will talk to you guys. Most people don't. Most people are just on here for views and money. I'm just going to tell you, I'm not making a lot of money off these YouTube channels. I'm making money from other things. This YouTube channel is just a great traffic source for me to get drivers, people interested in building their own company, things like that. My business is elsewhere. So I'm not making money off you guys watching my videos. I'm not just doing it for the views or for the money. This is to help you guys and to also make money from our other businesses if you guys are interested in getting involved i guess that's all for today hope you guys got a lot from this and i hope y'all decide to go into trucking and get your own owner operator authority to make that big money because if you're into trucking this is the easiest way to do it if you're already here watching this channel you're obviously interested in trucking industry regardless so i believe this video will help you out and i hope to see you guys on the right path and honestly i hope to see you guys coming to use us i sure appreciate y'all watching the video have a great day go check out the rest